Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module six, lesson one. I'm going to start off by going over the ICANN objective. So I can make a visual model to represent the addition or subtraction of fractions with different sized parts. The learning objective is use visual models to generate fractions having same sized parts in addition and subtraction expressions when the fractional parts are not the same size. In prior learning, as students compared fractions with different numerators and different denominators with visual models with benchmark fractions and by renaming. Okay, so really all that's saying is we are going to be using visual models. In this case, I'm going to be using fractional pieces like this. And when it says different parts, all it means is the numerators and denominators are different numbers. Okay, so jumping into the lesson... Lesson number one, the spark your learning. It says four hikers travel along the same trail over two days. The fraction of the trail each hiker travels is shown. So here is day one showing all of the different parts that traveled. So Alexi traveled half of the trail. Rachel did two fifths of the trail. James did half the trail and Jayla did half the trail. And then day two, showing all these numbers here, showing they did a little bit less day two of the trail that was left, okay? So underneath in black, it says, use the data in the table to show two ways to represent the fractions of the trail one of the hikers traveled on both days. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this little sheet to hold up my uh, fraction pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and choose James just because he has the easier fractions to deal with to start out. So on day one, let's say this is the entire trail, right? One hole is going to be shown by the blue bar here. On day one, James completed half of the trail. Okay. And then on the second day, he did the next fourth of the trail. So he did half and a fourth. He didn't quite finish the whole thing, right? See all this empty space? So we know that a half and a fourth don't quite equal one whole. Well, that's okay. We need to figure out a way to show what the equal size pieces would be. So in the problem it says, show two ways to represent the fraction of the trail so here's one way, here's a half and a fourth. Now I wanna show you what it would be for equal pieces. And remember, when I have different denominators, so if you see my denominator on the brown one is two and my denominator on the yellow one is four, in order to add or subtract fractions, those bottom numbers called denominators have to be the same. And that's what we call common denominators, okay? So how do we get common denominators if the numbers are different? Well, this is actually pretty easy. All we have to do is find out a number that both of them can multiply to be. So I have a two and I have a four. Is there a number that I can multiply two by? And is there a number that I can multiply four by? They can be different numbers that I'm multiplying that equal the same number. So is there something when I multiply two to be something that if I multiply four, it's that same something. That's the common number that they have. So can I multiply something by two and can I multiply four by something to be the same number? Yes, that number is going to be four, right? So two times two is four. Four times one is four. If you were thinking eight, that's actually okay. That is a common denominator, but you would have to reduce at the very end. So the best common denominator that we can have is four. And even if you don't change one of the numbers, if it's still four, that's okay. I don't have to change both numbers. If I only have to change my half, then let's do it, right? Work smarter, not harder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fourth pieces. I'm going to show you that one half is actually the exact same amount as two of my one fourths. So two fourths is the same as one half, but I still have this one fourth hanging out, right? And we know that one fourth is still one fourth. So you see how it's the exact same amount here? is if I have my half of the hike and my fourth of the hike, it's the same as having 
three of the fourths. So it's the same way as saying one half plus one fourth is the same amount as equal to three fourths. Okay. So if you're using visual models, we're going to have to draw that, right? That's the main I can. I don't want to just write the equation. I really want to be able to show it with visual models or drawing. Okay. So I have my one hole here and I'm just going to draw everything that I just showed you. I have my half here and then I have my fourth here. And we showed that half of a half is a fourth. So this was show number one and this was show number two. So we did show two different way ways to represent the fractions of the trail that the hikers traveled on both days. Awesome. All right, let's go on to the next page, page 130, the build your understanding. The problem says Marley and Jackie save together to buy a tent for their camping trip. Marley saves three eighths of the cost of the tent and Jackie saves half the cost of the tent. How much do Marley and Jackie save towards the cost of the tent? All right, so I have my friends Marley and Jackie. So Marley saves three eighths and Jackie saves half. And the question is saying, how much do Marley and Jackie save towards the cost of the tent? So we wanna know how much they saved together, right? So this is addition. So above the green rectangle, it says, how can you represent the situation? Draw to show your thinking. Again, we're doing visual models. We wanna see these in pictures. So draw to show your thinking. First, I'm gonna go back to all my pieces. All right, so let's go ahead and reset my pieces. So I know, starting with my one hole, here's the total cost of the tent, right? The tent costs one hole. However much that is, we don't know for this problem, that's okay, because we're just working with parts of the hole with fractions. So it says Marley saves three eighths of the cost. So let's go ahead and do Marley first. So three eighths, I need one eighth pieces and I need three of them. So Marley saves this much, three eighths of the total cost, right? There's still a lot more saving for Marley to do, but that's okay. Right now, three eighths. And Jackie does half of the cost. Go Jackie get in half, right? So if I were to line up it the other way, there's still a little bit of a gap, which is okay right? Three eighths and then a half. So they still have a little bit more to save before they can get their tent. Okay. So this is what it would look like as is, but we need to find out with adding again, that common denominator. If I, in the red, if the bottom is eight and the brown, the bottom is half or is a two, I need to find out the common denominator. So all the pieces are equal. Okay, because I need to be able to represent the situation in drawing. So I want equal pieces to find out how much they have left, right? Because right now I can't really figure out how much they have left, but I could, if I made these all the same pieces, I could just drop it here, okay? So what we need to do is find common denominators between two and eight. Remember, I need to multiply something by two to get a number and something by eight to get a number. If you're thinking eight, then you are correct, all right? We want our common denominator to be eight. I'm gonna give you that little piece before we get started. I'm gonna have you go ahead and try your drawings and try A and B below. So I'm gonna have you pause here. All right, welcome back and good hard work with this. I know this can be very challenging. All right, so we did find out that our common denominator is gonna be eight, right? So what we need to do is we need to cover our half in eight pieces. So how many eight pieces would it be to be the same as my half? Well, because I don't have so many eight pieces, I'm just going to go ahead and show you like this, is that my half, even if I split them to show you a little bit better, 
one half is the same as one, two, three, four eighths. So instead of my half being shown, which I'm gonna go ahead and take out, I'm just gonna say my four eighths. So I have four eighths here, and then I have my three eighths that was already there. So remember, I had my three eighths and then my half, so I'm just replacing my half with my four eighths, and I'll show you that as an equation as well below, in case this doesn't make sense visually. So here is my seven eighths. So now it might be a lot easier for, for you to see. How much more do they have to save? They only had one eighth left to save because eight of the eighths would be one whole. They saved seven eighths and they just had one eighth left to save, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show that in drawing and in an equation for both types of learners. So I had my one whole as the cost of my tent. I have half of the cost and then I have if this would be a fourth here, this would be an eighth. So I have one eighth, one eighth, and one eighth. Showing my three eighths. And what we did was we broke up our half into a fourth and then into eighths again. Not as even because I'm drawing, but that's okay. So I have my four eighths and then I have my three eighths. So this right here is my four eighths. Here is my three eighths coming together to make my seven eighths, okay? And if you wanted to see that as an equation, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in blue. So I had my half plus my three eighths. So if I wanted to make common denominators, all I need to do is multiply my top and my bottom by four. So four times one is four, and four times two is eight, plus my three eighths that was already there to be equal to seven eighths. So whether you do a drawing or an equation, you should get seven eighths, okay? So for A, it says, how do you combine three eighths and a half to help you find how much Marley and Jackie save? Explain your thinking. Well, we want to break them all into eighth pieces. So I would say both were eighth pieces. And by B, write an equation to model your solution. And that's where the blue writing comes in up above. So I had my half plus my three eighths, and that would be equal to my four eighths plus my three eighths equaling my seven eighths. Okay, so just wanted to real quick come and show you with the visual model, show you what it looks like um, tangible and show you what it looks like on the paper when using the equation. Hopefully you can use this new knowledge and finish up the rest of your lesson because I will see you back for module six, lesson two.